In this video, I want to show you how to make a hyperlink in your PowerPoint presentation. Now, this can work on a new slide or an existing slide. It'll work the same way in either case. Now, you can add the hyperlinks to many different objects in your slide. Let's add a shape. So I'll pick on the Insert menu, and I'll, I'll add a shape. And uh, any of these shapes would work the same way. So let's go with the oval. I'm going to click that and I'll click somewhere on my um, on my slide. So I want that to say, click here to go to an Excel spreadsheet. Now um, I can resize the text or I can resize the oval. Either way you want to do it is fine. Let's uh, highlight that text to maybe make the text a little bit smaller. That'll be good. That way you can make that oval a little bit smaller. Good. Now, once we have that object on the slide, here's how you add a hyperlink to that. We're going to click on the actual object, and it could be a picture, it could be a shape, it could be a text box, it could be a chart, it could be anything that you can click on on the slide, really. From here, I'll pick on the Insert menu, and I'll pick on uh, the hyperlink or the link uh, item right there. Now, the link can go to different things. It can go to a document. It can go to a web page. A place in this document means maybe another slide. It can go to an email address. Let's make it go to a file. So I'll pick on uh, Browse. And then I'll look for a file on my computer. I'll come over here, I'll pick on the download folder, and I'll go to the class file folder. And then let's say I want to go to the banking spreadsheet. Any file could be appropriate here. It could be a Word document, a PDF, a PowerPoint, an Excel file. Really, it could be any kind of file. I'm just happen to pick an Excel spreadsheet right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK. And I'll click on OK. Now, the hyperlink is not going to work until you, until you uh, run your presentation. So at this point, I'll pick on the uh, slideshow menu. And I'll pick on from the beginning. Notice when I move my mouse there, you can tell the hyperlink is active because I'm going to click there and we see the pointer. When I click on the pointer, now it will bring me to the Excel spreadsheet, as you can see. So that was a quick way to make a hyperlink. I'm going to close out of the um, Excel spreadsheet. So in normal view of your presentation, you click on any object. Then you set the insert menu and you pick on link. Let's try the same thing with text. I'm going to add a text box. So I'll say insert and then um, text box. And over here I'll say click to go to website. So at that point, you want to um, make a hyperlink for that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the, uh, the text box. Now notice how I'm going to click on the edge of the text box so the whole thing is selected. And once again, we'll say insert and then link. This time, I want to go to an address on the internet. So I'll go up to my web page. I'll go to www.freepcseminars.com. And it could be really any uh, website that you would want to go to. Once again, the hyperlink is not going to work until we run the presentation. So at this point, I'll pick on slideshow from the current slide. Notice when I move my mouse there, it is now an active link. We can tell by the pointer. So if I click there, then that brings me to the website. And here it comes. Okay? So uh, in, this, in this website, you can get to my other YouTube videos, and you can also sign up for my mailing uh, list, you know, those kind of things. But I just wanted to show you how you can uh, hyperlink to a website from your PowerPoint presentation. So we can make a hyperlink on anything. 
if I said insert, uh, if I added a, um, a shape or a chart or, or a, let's ha even try a picture. I'll pick on a picture. Let's say it will pick on the plane. Let's say when I pick on that plane, I want it to go to um, um, a, a web. Uh, so I'll go to a file. So I'll click on that picture. We'll say insert link. This time I'll go to a file. I'll pick on browse and I'll go back to my download folder, go into class files and I'll use one that's called pivot table examples. Now, when I run my show, I'll say uh, slideshow from the current slide. Then when I move my mouse to the picture, you can see the, the, the link is active because the pointer is there. When I click on that, then the, uh, what, the file that you chose will open. So those are a couple great ways to add links into your PowerPoint file. Now, if you want to change the link, you'll right click on the object. And then notice over here, I can say edit link, open link, copy link, or remove link. And the same would be true over here. If I clicked on that text box, I'll click on the edge of the text box, right click on it, and you have the same kind of choices. And I'm sure that, that it would be true over here as well. So that's how we add and edit uh, hyperlinks into your PowerPoint presentation.